Kevin Carney here with GameDemo.com reviewing two RTS games that we just got. We have Company of Heroes and Supreme Commander. If I had to choose between the two, I would hands down pick Company of Heroes. Amazing RTS, a real-time strategy game. The graphics are uh, very nice. Uh, it does have some pretty stiff system requirements. You may want to check uh, that out and make sure that your system is capable of running it. The, uh, to give you an idea of the graphics, you can literally see gunners loading uh, artillery. You can see them picking up shells, putting it in. Um, the single player, uh, very nice, uh, brings you through different campaigns. It's uh, based on the ally, um, whatever you want to perspective, rather than the Axis. It's a World War II, if I didn't mention that already. Um, so once you're finished with it, it's sort of depressing that the single player is over, you wish there was more. That's one of the negatives about the game. They don't have the ability to create your own maps and thereby create your own campaigns. So it would be nice if, uh, you know, I know the gamers out there would make some pretty interesting maps and campaigns and that would extend the life of the single player. The multiplayer, you can play it um, with skirmish mode, set it up against uh, up to eight players, well actually four against four, then you have uh, three against three, two, two against two, and uh, one against one. Yeah. Choose different levels of AI for the actual playing against the computer. That makes it nice. The also multiplayer you can get online and play with uh, other people as well. I tend to uh, get my butt kicked when I do that. The uh, I tend to focus on base development and somebody will just come in and take me out with uh, just swarm me and take me out. But I would definitely recommend go out and get uh, Company of Heroes. That brings up Supreme Commander, being that. Company of Heroes came to us first and then we just got Supreme Commander sort of expecting more from it I'm pretty disappointed it uh, part of the, the uh, charm of it that other gamers like is the size of it is absolutely huge I tend to not care for that too much because you switch you have to switch to a global view and eventually all you're dealing with is tiny little icons you're just moving icons around the map and then when you do zoom in, the graphics are kind of um, general and vague. The uh, the uh, you know you, you have some uh, huge uh, battle sequences, but when you zoom in, some like one of your uh, Max walking through a tree line, and it just seems um, disappointing graphically. Um, that, given the fact that you're just moving icons around, I personally don't care for uh, Supreme Commander. I don't have the time to devote to get to the level that uh, that would make it interesting for me. Out of the two, I would highly recommend get Company of Heroes, and then read the reviews, other reviews, um, see if your gameplay style matches the reviewer game, uh, gameplay style, and, and perhaps uh, Supreme Commander uh, might be interesting for you. I, I, I didn't care for it. So that concludes Game Demo's review of Supreme Commander and Company of Heroes. Alright, here, I think I select. Yeah, I did select it. Okay, V1 inbound. There's the buzz. I'm pulling my guys back. Now, watch this. I already told him over a chat channel that it's inbound. There it is. So, uh, there's the V1. Can be pretty devastating had that been the, uh, the enemy base. So, uh,. This is Company of Heroes by T THQ and Relic. I highly recommend it. Here he comes in to take advantage of my screw up. A air raid by him. I got pushed his troop back. Thank God. Mortar attack coming in on my medics. <laughs> 